Today on Unbox Theory, the JBL Party Box 1000. <laughs> Yo, what's up everybody? Like and Strive here, Driftwolf Gaming, and today, like I said in the small intro, we are going to unbox the JBL Party Box. Holy crap, this is my weapon of choice. Now, I'm going to grab my trusty knife over here. We're just going to open this bad boy up real quick. There we go. So first of all, this is not sponsored by JBL or anything. I bought this off of Marketplace. And I bought this, um, this is actually from JBL themselves. This is a person on Marketplace who sold like more than 10 of these things. He bought them for a very cheap price from JBL. JBL doesn't do anything regarding sponsoring here in the Netherlands as far as I know. I've asked them multiple times if they want to sponsor me. They don't. They All they want is money. If you ask me, they're pretty greedy. But they do sell everything at a very low price to other people who especially want to buy in bulk, apparently. But this is not a company that sold it to me. This is just a single dude living in an apartment, buying all these things up for a very cheap price, investing his money and then selling them through Marketplace, which is actually a second-hand website. But who cares, right? We got one for a reasonably cheap price. Almost 50% discount, almost. But who's counting? I have this as a weapon of choice to annoy my neighbors when I have to. I don't know if I'm strong enough, but we'll try. Man, oh man. No, it is coming out, slowly, I don't want to break the styrofoam. There we go. It's very static actually. Um, this is apparently the stuff that we need. Let me put that here. And then I'm going to try to gently get over it that way. There we go. That's good. Now I need to get this back a little bit regarding the camera. I mean, it's fucking huge. It's huge! Get this, this stuff off, put it back in the box. Get the silica gel out. Throw that away. Then get this one off. It's good that my girlfriend isn't here because she hates styrofoam. And then we need to get the bottom part off. This is the top, isn't it? I feel the buttons, yep. So it's actually good that I did it like this. Now I need to figure out how I can get the thing off. There we go. Gently put it down because this thing weighs a ton. Get this styrofoam back into the box. Turn the box around. All right. This should be it. there which is good all right are you guys ready because I'm gonna remove the tarp or the what's it called the condom Whee! static it's so static oh boy man it is huge 
It really is mother flipping huge. Look at that thing. My God. Whew. Okay, well, I'm gonna sell all my other speakers. Um, let's look what's in the box right here real quick. I need to sell everything out of my shed. Okay, we got our... Ah, oh, crap. Guess what we have. American power. That's not good. We got our quick start guide. Uh, well, we got normal power too. Now, the thing that I'm missing though, there we go, is the armband. And that should be it. I'm gonna check that in the leaflet or in the instruction manual to see if everything's in here. He guaranteed me when he sold this to me, he had multiple still standing around. He was gonna get a pickup tonight for six of these boxes, like sold. Um, to some kind of company um, So I'm gonna check out the instruction manual real quick to see if everything is in here That's supposed to be in here and then I'll return to you So this is the speaker unpacked As you can see a really cool light effects and stuff like that You have the uh, drum pads up here so you got some drum pad sounds and stuff like that. We've got the arm band, which I can like see if I turn it around, it changes the light effects, which is really cool. And when I do this, see it does like these weird little sound effects that I can uh, move with this arm band. See, other type of lighting. And another one doesn't always do it that quick there you go no no there you go it's a little bit wishy-washy regarding the uh, the bracelets but it's a cool thing it pulsates with the music as well and it can go very very loud um, stuff that I'm playing right now is YouTube copyright free music stuff that we can use as creators so I can turn it up a little bit but I don't want any arguments with those neighbors right now so I can do a small little test and then later on maybe this weekend I might actually open it up outside just to see how loud it can get in the open space so yeah let's check it out let's go I don't know why I did that, but... See? These are the drum pads. You have to press them really, uh, really hard because they're uh, touch sensitive, which is cool. But yeah, they can go really loud. Like this is, I'm putting it up right. Really loud, and that's just like I'm pressing the, the plus buttons the whole time. But man. Um, yeah, there's still some cool, some cool stuff. Oh, wait, turn it, no, turn it, yep, 
turn it. This doesn't work, see? You should be able to do that a little bit better. You should clap, but it doesn't work. See? <laughs> There's some cool stuff though, to be quite fair. Uh, you can record some loops and stuff like that, but the problem is that there's no metronome, as far as I know. So you can't really try to get everything on beat. Um, that sucks. So, but yeah, it's a great speaker, and uh, it's gonna make a lot of people very angry with me. So that's for sure. So I'll take you up top real quick with the camera, so you can see the stuff right here. There you go. So these are all your settings. You have your Bluetooth, your USB, aux line in. I've got a uh, little USB thing right there. There's more stuff on the back even. Gain and aux and all that stuff. Left and right channel. And these are the... Uh... But you have to press them really hard, which I think is a little bit meh. Because they're too hard. They're not like MPC... Uh... See? It's really weird. So that's a little bit weird and look, see sometimes when you do it too quick they overlap, which is not good. Um, you've got more than enough. You've got some more than enough cool sounds in here. I can always record stuff through my uh, recording software. So that's really cool. Yeah, stuff like that. And that's about it. I don't know what this is. This is your custom stuff? Yeah, it is your custom stuff. Oh, this is not your custom stuff. This is your play uh, playlist. So there are three songs. Oh, he puts that in there. So this is actually, this is your custom stuff. So you can put um, your customized samples in here. So if you have samples or like maybe specific, like for instance, if you put the goat scream in here or something like that, you know, stuff like that or meme stuff, you can put that in there and just use it on these pads. But the thing that he did now is he found three tracks that I put on the USB. I just did three tracks. This is the beginning of one track. That's the second. This is the third. But that's cool stuff though. If you use these drum pad stuff. And now there's nothing. Which is nice. So I don't know everything. I know bass boost of course. Voice cancel and smart DJ. I have no clue. I have to figure all that stuff out. It's probably in the book somewhere. But yeah. This is really cool stuff regarding the, the source as well. I don't know however how to skip a track. That's something that I don't know. I know this is pause. Okay, so I just figured out how to get the next track. You do this two times. Wait, what? There you go. That's the next track. You have to do it very slow. Yeah, that's the next track, there you go. And if I do it three times, it's gonna put me back a track. There you go. One, two, three. Ah, that works perfectly. Okay, well that's good to know. But it works really well. It's a really nice unit. And uh, yeah, this is my go-to speaker for now. I can even put this in the garage when I play skate on the Xbox 360 or stuff like that. It's gonna be great. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe so I can do more stuff like this for all of you. And I'll see you in the next video where we're going to open this puppy up.